to the sex dungeon. <laughs> Isn't that an honor? Oh, that's good. I am the illustrious Aaron Bryant from Table Nights Entertainment. Pleasure to see you all. I am not a non-Trekkie. I just don't like the games. They don't do well. I've watched almost the entire first Star, Star Trek, and I've seen all of Captain Picard, who I am secretly in love with. Oops. That got out. Hmm. No, I just see your steely blue eyes. Isn't that what brown and blue is? Batman. God, my room is so bright, I look like I'm freaking wreathed in light. But let me tell you, ladies, I'm no angel. Wink. Wink. Thank you. I have adorned it with a feather and a pin from... It's loot crate. It's the flame. It's the pyromancer's unicorn. Yes. Uh, if you look after, there. Yeah. There you go. I see a screen that says Star Trek Online on top of it. I think I'm going to turn my camera off because of how bright I am. That's also a good picture of me, so, you know. The hell is shard maintenance? That would be a, a shirt. Oh. Yeah, you should keep up to date on that crap.
Keegan. Keegan Michael K. Hey, have you ever heard of a game called Dread, Mark? Have you ever heard of a game called Dread? No, dre Dread, like the feeling. Um, essentially, it's a role-playing game where you don't have any dice, and instead you use a Jenga tower to see if you do stuff. It, it is. It's a horror-based system. Which, um, oh, did I tell you I'm coming up there in, like, five days? Yes. So, if you want to play a game of Dread, get some Jenga blocks, and then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do that. Sweet. The screenshot sharing. I thought that was you did that intentionally. Um I see dark oh shit, wow. Uh that is a giant sperm. Did you spend the whole game playing and not realizing it was a giant sperm? You're a level 53 ejaculate. Flying, flying into the ovum of space. Indeed. You have to fertilize. Let's run into that sun. What? What if I commit mass suicide? That's lame. Also, your ship is like 50% of that sun. Which I believe is highly inaccurate. Okay, maybe it's like a quarter of that sun? Oh, never mind. Excuse me. I <laughs> the size distortion was way off. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, I I was thinking that. Whoa. Do you have hydraulics in your ships? Boom, boom, boom. This is This is really freaking productive. What are all these messages that keep popping up? Oh. Do a mission, Mark. Do an away mission. Do an away mission.
I imagine that this sounds really cool, but I can't hear it. So this whole thing has happened without sound? Oh, the Borg. I haven't heard anything about the Borg in a while. You have 3% shields. I suggest evacuating. Can't you? I don't understand what's happening. You're at 87, 83, 90 something. What, what is the percentile doing? To increase, to increase their lag? No, I, I, I'm asking, is it increasing their lag? Because you said you're buffering. Yeah. They have torpedoes! Finally! Quickly, they have to defeat their nebulon cyborgs with our photonic laser beam. I do that all the time, even when I'm referencing Dungeons and Dragons stuff. So, don't feel bad, Trekkies. I make fun of my own thing. Our word. Just like Nickelork. I don't know. I like Star Trek, I'm just not that much of, like, a Star Trek aficionado. I don't know, he seems to be relatively alive. I thought you were going to die way before this. You don't have your things macroed? Your abilities. Wait, you have to you have to be a certain level to make keyboard macros? That's ridiculous. The Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Your defense of the Tere thieves will be your undoing. No. That's... It's way too pretty a voice. The Tere and Voth have a long-standing allegiance. The Tere's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. I, I identify as an exothermist, you slime. You've triggered me. He does. Um... Captain McCarty. Kill this man. Then you will He's insulted my family. The death. Oh, 
You're defending that asshole. The surface of the Terray homeworld is being I'm devastated not. by the debris from the Both vessels. Please. The Terray do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them. But the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore the control network. McCarty, taken away team. What? <laughs> oh. That sounds like a really bad medical officer. You just you hate all of your people, don't you? Gorgonzola. It's a horrible name. The invaders attacked this facility, but they did not do significant structural damage. They were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces she wants the cat. She, she wants the USS Batman to reach her eggs. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. That was that was funny, in a very silent laughing kind of way. What the? Yeah. Seven of nine, I'd, I suggest you calm yourself. Please. That is your memory. Ever, does everybody have purple hair on your team? Firefight here. One of the Terray is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information about the invaders. She wants to rub your back with her titties. Thank you. My name is Bellus. You're from Starfleet, right? That's disgusting. The ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close I think for he our should be purged from space. The launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls, and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. The attackers were Mark, you need to shoot this man. Voyager He's so ugly. Interact with one of our corridors. What about his history? He's obviously in the pain. As we requested, and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy. Yeah. All of this destruction. Don't every death make me think about Voyager's him when I play Mario, please. Impossible. It cannot be the Vodwa. I, I would know. No. You should send me that later. My analysis remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign I'll them to the, to the central, central tower, tower and to start the initialization the sequence. You should shoot the mark. Set phasers to kill. I blame myself for the violence. It's done. Kill. It was a door best Only left kill. Unopened. Never stop anybody. We 
had to ally ourselves with the terrain to escape the bug. So is everyone who plays this game a captain? different classes my analysis of this note is complete execute the following steps in the correct order first you must launch the startup sequencers next you must charge the capacitive relays Finally, you must establish the satellite uplink. Establish the satellite uplink, Mark. Come on. Establish my staff. That's what this is going to be. It's going to be like three hours of penis jokes. of this note is complete. First, you must launch the startup sequence. Because she doesn't have that date. You must charge the capacitive relay. Finally, you must establish the satellite uplink. Isn't that what you have a team for? That's what they're there for, to die for their valiant captain. You know what would be really funny? Connection if in the game's code, there's a subscript that let, that makes enemies target uh, red shirts 10% more. No one would ever know, though, because it's, you know, in the game's subroutines, unless they reverse hacked it. What are you, by the way, in terms of class? Of course you would be. You think that the tactic would be stronger at higher level? Like a maid. Giving your crewmates drugs. Complete these steps in the correct order to initialize and what align. Are they away from reality. First, you must reboot the core matrix. Next, you must update the. Finally, you must establish the satellite uplink. There's a lot of rebooting. Why can't you just boot something? Yeah. 
That was weak, Mark. A blink established. Which person? Oh, I hate that guy. I guess everything you do, Mark. By not, Mark. Do nothing. When we first rescued the Vaudoir, we thought we could be allies. Doing what? Wait, can we can we can we make that? Is it trademarked? That's trademarked, right? Oh, no, no, the the jingle. Oh God, we're gonna be sued. First, you must access the AI. Next, you must update. Finally, you must align the main relay. It looks like you're just flapping your fingers on a keyboard. What I that, that's all I hear. Defense node on. She's turned on by your science. Whatever. It's a good thing you have those shields, or she'd be all over the deep. Hey, Mark. Indeed. That was blue, apparently. Whatever happens here, we must inform our superiors about the Vodwar threat. <laughs> Demona. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Demona. Well, technically she turned into a. Which I guess kind of made it, you know, uh, you, you could have a relationship with Demona if you wanted. No, she won't be. She's a human in the day. Yeah. I recently just watched all of the first and second season. And I gotta tell you, Mark, that's gotta be one of the greatest co uh, cartoons of the following steps in the collection.
Oh, well, the one I posted on Facebook? Oh my god, so many feels. First, you must access the AI sub. Next, you must update the defense. Finally, you must establish the satellite uplink. Because that time break. I wish they had done something more with that timeline. Because it was so cool. Like, my, my biggest question was, what the fuck turned Lex evil? No, no, Lex. Lexington. One of your... Yeah, uh, Lexington turned evil, and he was he was what was doing all that stuff. And I was like, "Why are you evil now, Lexington?" But then Goliath woke up, and I was like, "Seriously, this is disturbing. I cannot. I can't with this emotional." Said, "Was it a trick or you know a prophecy?" <laughs> and I was just like, "Damn it, Puck." Dick. Team position. Can you play from the top down view? did an excellent job getting the defense nodes back online and realigned to the central hub here. It sounds like... The restart process will take some time, but the defense grid will be active in about two minutes. The defense grid will be active in about two minutes. We'd be in good shape if the Bardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. These are mobile transporting pads used to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. I assume they're coming to stop us from restoring the- Your team did an ex- We'd be in good shape if the Vardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. These are mobile transporter pads used to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. I assume the Drake- It's the ...from restoring the defense grade. Clearly the Vardwar object. Zip zap, zip zap, zip zap, bop. I mean, I'm looking at all these dancing lasers. I don't know what to think. reinforcements approaching. You're incapacitated. <laughs> Your shields are not doing shit. The Bogwar are relentless. The probability Why are of you survival is slim. Worst superhero name in the 1990s. True people. The Bodwar are tenacious fighters. We must be more. We can't keep 
this up forever. What is that? I dropped from the heavens. How'd you get that? How'd you get those? Oh, those are cool. What's a sl it has a slugger collar? It's a cola made of slug. Mm -hmm. um, uh, um, okay. I don't know how to feel about this. That sounds absolutely putrid. This is Turn. Did you say a Turian? Turian is a race a mass effect. Hold on. Uh, yes. He looks like fucking Igor. Why are you making him so decrepit? Well, you did succeed in that. Oh, I have to go deal with my dogs. Um, I'll be back. I am back. How does that work in this game, by the way? What's their explanation for respawns? Consequence for death.
How about you open fire anywhere else? Aren't you the Batman? Oh. It is not odd. Both reinforcements have entered orbit. These Fadwa do not want to do battle with an obviously superior force. Losses. We have made that was sick, our yo. agreement with the terrain. Bellas, we have restored your defense grid. I'm not interested in petty squabbling about who did what. The grid is restored. And we are safe. That's all that matters. Seven of nine. Admiral. We detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault. Your ship invaded the Voth outpost. Sounds like you uh, things are getting a little... Vardwar. Vardwar. Hectic. Starfleet intelligence did not consider them a threat. We believe their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Then you were wrong. The Vardwar have returned. And no one is safe. I see. Seven, Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Very well. We will take the other survivors from the Callisto as well. Voyager, two to beam up. I find bugs in my house, and then I eat them. Hold on, my dog's being loud again. 